we're going to get the wall built. And it's going to be built right. And Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Mexico is making a fortune off the United States. Mexico, excuse me, Mexico is going to pay for the wall. And they're going to be happy about it. The former president uh, of Mexico, Vicente Fox, he said today, and I'm quoting him, he said, I'm not going to pay for that, quote, effing wall. I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. So if you don't uh, get an actual check from the Mexican government for 8 or 10 or $12 billion, whatever it will cost, how are you going to make them pay for the wall? I will, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. Yeah! It's got 10 feet taller. He should pay for it. He's got the money. The southern border wall, is your plan still to have Mexico pay for the wall? Yes, it will. One way or the other, Mexico is going to pay for the wall. No, Mexico will pay for the wall. Ultimately, Mexico will pay for the Sir, wall. I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. Who's going to pay for the wall? 100%. By the way, 100%. Uh, it's President Trump. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Ah, uh, so uh, there's the promise, right? There's the promise, you know. You live in the age of video. You live in the age of YouTube, where everything you say is on video. Right? <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> that's the way it is, man. Right? So, how's Trump going to squeak out, squeak out of this one, right? He says, uh, he says, uh, you know, Mexico is going to pay for the wall, right? He said it for two years, right? On and on, on a daily basis, Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Oh no! That well, the wall just got ten feet higher, right? We did we forget? Eh? So what's he saying lately, right? So the government is in a shutdown till Thursday. No big deal. They're taking a Christmas break. What's everybody losing their fucking mind about? Eh? That's what politicians do. They're lazy and they're stupid. But what's he saying now? So Mexico is going to pay for the wall, right? All right? Two years later, let's see what happens. Nancy. It's called transparency. It's not transparency when we're not stipulating to a set of facts and when we want So this is that conversation in the uh, White House. Remember Pelosi and, and uh, Schumer? We need border security. That's what we're going to be talking about, border security. If we don't have border security, we'll shut down the government. This country needs border security. The wall is a part of border security. Let's have a talk. We're going to get the wall built, and we've done a lot of wall already. It's a big part of border security is the wall. It's a big section. It's a big part of it. Everything that you need. It's a big part of it. We need to have effective border security. We need a wall in certain parts. No, not in all parts, but in certain parts of a 2,000-mile border, we need a wall. How much money? Uh, we are doing it much under budget. We're actually way under budget on the areas that we've renovated and areas that we've built. Uh, I would say if we got if we got five billion dollars, we could do a tremendous chunk of wall. Uh, a tremendous chunk of wall for five billion dollars right so he's going to i mean okay so now he's backpedaling right once once trump got elected he started to say that we would build a wall and then get get uh uh mexico to pay back somehow through renegotiations of uh, trade deals like nafta or whatever right We'll start charging them because now we got a wall between us and them and anything that comes up we can Nothing squeaks by without us seeing it and taxing it. All right. Well, that's that's not that's not like Mexico. See, people got the impression that Mexico is going to shell out the money for the border wall. Right? Hey, look, I I mean my my view of of walls, right? Fucking wall. You know, walls are built sometimes to keep the bad guys out. But when economies slide, especially in in uh, trying times. Those same walls that we built to keep those guys out end up keeping us in. It's just something to think about, you know. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, Trump is Trump is he wants his wall. There's no fucking way Mexico is going to out now pay. You're going to have to extort the money. <laughs> That's so ridiculous, you know. I mean, I, I I see it as a ridiculous story. I think you know. Look, immigration. This, we have so many laws and so many ways to prevent illegals from entering the country. The first one is to de-incentify it, which means that if, a, if someone comes in from a third world country with undocumented, right, and, and or any country, not third, we're third world, fuck, there is no more. We are the third world. Guess, wake up. We live in abject poverty. 
But if anybody comes into the country and tries to work, if the employment laws were enforced, you wouldn't have this problem because you would de incentivize people flooding into the country to try to get a, a slice of the American dream, which doesn't really exist anymore, you know. But uh, it's better than, I mean, it's better than dirt farming and eating fucking whatever, you know. Uh, struggling. I mean, our our standard of living is slightly higher than perhaps most of the countries in South America. However. It doesn't give people the, the right to flood our country and work illegally. But the real problem is the laws, right? We all want laws. We all want, you know, justifiable. Everybody's, you know, law enforcement, right? Everybody, we, we, we love to bash Congress and Senate because they're lawless. But then when, when employers hire, you know, 50 Mexicans to build a building, and give them five dollars, four dollars, three dollars an hour. Then there's no where's the outrage there, right? That's all I'm saying. Right? So you know, border wall. Trump's gonna get his wall. He's gonna give him, give him his wall, give him his goddamn wall. Make everybody, make him fucking happy about his wall, right? He's doing good work, and you know, he's doing good work abroad with the, you know, with the uh, counterinsurgency wars. We're, we're out of uh, Syria, halfway out of Afghanistan. Looks like. Looks like uh, North Korea is not really a threat anymore. He's doing he's doing good th good things there. Give the man, give the man his goddamn wall. Marcus Conti reporting.